happy welcome to everyone that has um that is watching right now. I'm really pumped that you are here today because we this is gonna be the second part of the photographer project where we're gonna develop a film as I have um promised you so first of all to well develop a film you first of all need to shoot a film so this is what I'm going to do now because the first part I can't show you yet that's still in some sort of a consulting position but maybe on uh, 21st December maybe maybe it'll come out so first of all you grab your little film and take the cover off of the protective housing then you have your film spool you have your um, data on the side then you pull out your film um, make sure that um, if you have a quick loader that it matches the two bearings otherwise the film won't be able to get um, wound up then um, you close the lid make sure that it's properly closed turn on your camera if you have a quick loader just press the shutter button and you should be ready to go So now I've got my camera up here, it has been um, loaded so that you actually can see my setup here. I'm just going to quickly take an image. Alright, so you now uh, will be able to see that image, hopefully. But I'll try to shoot this roll of film so that it's not wasted. So we should first of all shoot the film with not total garbage, that it's not wasted because I don't want to waste film because it's kind of expensive, but that's another point. So I think that up there is a pretty neat location. So we should just head up there. Let's see if that actually works. So put you on your camera strap, get it around the shoulder and try to jump through um, the roof. Ugh! Holy shit, that didn't work. Maybe I'm just too freaking tired. Uh, oh no, this camera is getting damaged. Uh, 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 uh. Doesn't seem to work today. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh no, I'm just thinking, I'm just too tired. Maybe I need to do this tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. So, as you can see, it's possibly the next day, uh, but I still have that same t shirt on. And it's still dark outside, but I know it's the next day because there is other stuff on the table, but so I hope it's gonna work today because I still need to shoot those images that I can show you the photo um, The development process, so Let's try this again. So strap up your camera Kind of safe and try to jump Oh, I don't know how I made it through that thing down there fortunately oh Damn it! The camera just sucked down. I need to fix that. Now it's all hinged up. Oh no. I hope. That does it. Mm! Alright. Alright, so, um, just. I hope you liked that intro for today, and let's see if we can shoot some cool. Cool wide angle analog thing stuff here that we can then later develop and I'm pretty pumped that this is gonna come out crazy so stick on to the end and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell if you liked it and also there is down as is also the like button and also some comments if you have any suggestions for me so let's just just get on it with the shooting so um now I'm doing kind of a vlog style here like because I don't have anybody to shoot me shoot thing so we have this kind of really really nice um, like old cabinet here now we're gonna shoot today so um, yeah let's just do that to get some interesting angle Let's get some angle from that side as well. Yeah, I know it's kind of dark in here, but this should be sort of like a nice lighting situation. So, light right here. This is gonna look awesome on infill. Uh, 
No run. Oopsie. No, don't don't fall, leather. I still need ya, so yeah, kinda doing this two hand stuff. Handheld. Yeah. Uh don't fall down there. Okay. Let's let's just do this lamp thing. So um yeah, let's just shoot some more. Shoot some more. That nice um, spongy stuff down there. I'm gonna also take Ah oh, it's not doing it. Don't know why. Oh, that was kind of a jiggly thing because that's two cameras are getting quite heavy on me. So let's just set you down back here. All right, jump your back in there and jump into the development because, like, the film is full because I filmed or film didn't film them all. So let's head back down. Let's let's do this. Ooh. Okay, so. Let's let so let's do this. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I have arrived back and look at these changes. Oh, we, oh dear, we got a rubbish bag there for protection. But yeah, like and there's also pr uh, protective equipment there. Kind of nice. When did that happen? Actually, I didn't realize it was up there. <gasps> Maybe a ghost or what? Some of a. I can't really imagine that. So. But to not get you bored, we're just gonna do the film developing now. I shot the roll of film, spool or whatever, how you wanna call it. So let's get right going with it. Whoosh! So, to start the development process, you first of all need a film in your developing container. So, um, you have this container, I can quickly open it here for you. You have the spool in here where it can um, where threaten the film that the chemicals and so and stuff just um, gets all around this film thing, and then in the total darkness, total darkness, so you won't be able to see anything. Not even I can see anything, and the film is even sensitive in um, some areas to infrared light. So also with an infrared light source. And this camera has an infrared filter, so it doesn't really make any sense. So um, you just grab your film, as you see here, and then you just like thread it in, push it a bit, and then you do sort of this action while keeping it, and also um, like um, you can have your hands there to keep the film in. Yeah, and you're gonna do this in total darkness. Put the film in here, drop it in there, put the lid on top, bam. Get it nice and snug. And now I can pour in the chemical, so. I'm now gonna rewind the film of this camera, and then we're gonna develop it. As you can see, we've reached the end. Now you're gonna press the rewind button on your camera. And go! Then you can open it. And there you have your finished film, which is now exposed. Then it'll be handled with a lot of care. Put your camera to the side and head into your dark room. So now let's just do a quick update. I got the 
film rewind. I'm just putting on a black um, blackout thing here, sort of that the film in here doesn't get exposed. It is in here, I can tell you. I'm not gonna show you. And so watch until the end so that you can see the results. But the scans you'll see in the next episode. Here's our developer. Here's the um, already. This is the concentrate and this is the mix. Here we got some tap water, slightly warm, and I'm just gonna get a bucket and we can just go to the development. Whee! So now we're gonna start the developing process. I got the film here, as I told you. Waste water bucket, fresh water bucket, chemicals. So for your protection. It is um, recommended to use some gloves and some eye protection in the safety data sheet of the developer, so this is what we're gonna stick with. We don't need that eye protection yet, because we're just gonna rinse the film with some water. First of all, we need to get the film wet. Then we're gonna use um, a three minute shake of our water. Let it flow in gently. First of all, the film needs to wet in three minutes. Like, do it in some sort of a um, circle thing, and yeah, sort of to avoid any bubbles. And then we're gonna shake it nice and slowly for three minutes and rinse in between. Then we can um, get this film wet for the developer which is gonna sit in there for 45 minutes as well as the bleach then we're gonna um, fix for about five minutes and um, stop it for in about three minutes so yeah let's do this that should be now good for the first mix we'll see it has a slight slight color tint that's normal. I've now set a 45-minute um, timer for the developer. That's in German, but that doesn't matter, as we have already learned in our first video. That was great. Please check it out. It's there. Gently get rid of all the water. Put your can down. Put this thing into the middle. Pull out your developer. Unscrew it. Please note the window is open so fresh air can come in, which is essential if you're doing a development. Yeah, and let's just do this. I pissed some to the side, which is not good. So let's start our timer here. And the first th uh, 60 seconds going to be constant movement. And let's set it there for 45 minutes. It's time to get the developer out, so put on your safety equipment. I us turn this one open. Try to not to contaminate anything. Then we're gonna rinse it. Let's get one here. Just doing a three minute rinse this time around. The water has been rinsed out, now I'm gonna put in the bleach. For 45 minutes. So we can already get our safety equipment out. We're not gonna do a washing step, so... And put in your fixer. We now are gonna do a continuous agitation. Let's put the chemicals back in the thing, which we should do now. Well, a little bit of leaks, but that is all capped here. Okay, so let's try to put some water in here. And get the stabilizer in. Okay. 
out. Right, now we're gonna roll it for about three minutes. So, pull the chemical back. The moment of reveal. We're gonna open this thing up. Well, unfortunately, it's, it's still wet. But you can see some of these images. Hopefully. And now I need to still process this film with this um, sort of a um, like getting the w like getting the water away. And so, if you all want to see those images from this film, you need to stick on and get subscribed. Ring that bell if you liked it. Ling 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 ling, and leave a like. And do the whole program to see these images if you are really crazy about them. So, eternal links, thanks for watching, and leave your suggestions down below. Bye!